so hi guys in this video i'm going to tell you how to make a simple countdown uh, timer <coughs> so it's very simple so here we can first we will be developing a script then from script we will be developing a gui okay so let's see how the script functions so it asks you to enter the countdown in seconds so if i enter the value so it counts down uh, now alarm will be beeping so this is the music player got open and sound will be uh, beeping so yeah you can see alarm dot that's the file so i will close it so this is the simple countdown script timer script so let's see what's inside the script So so yeah, script is open now. So here I'm importing the time module because we are using a timer, right? So that sub process I'm calling because we are going to use sub process in it. That is alarm sound. So I'm using sub process in it. So here that is the program. So I'm using float. If you want, you can use integer. So if time while time left greater than zero, so if our program calls an operator enters the value greater than a zero, so at finally it will ends. That's uh, adding time left minus one. So this will ends the program. So if a program is true, it will open a alarm dot wave. That is the alarm file. It will be opening. So that is the alarm file. The script will be opening when the command is becomes true. So okay, let's see how GUI looks. So I made a very simple and basic GUI for this. So this is the GUI. So if I start it. So let's see what's inside it. So yeah, so here you have got a, here I'm using same as stick kinter and I'm here a similar I'm using time input time and sub process for time function. Then this is count, this will be printing the counter values for storing that uh, counter values in the uh, showing the counter value countdown values in the program so I'm using here int if you want you can use float so that's not a problem so so yeah that's how it looks so I'm defining the timer option and this is the button for timer start button I'm programming it and lab for enter the countdown seconds sentry root for entering the values so x1 lab for just label and x read first entry so on time dot read that is for our timer function so the similar program I have developed for a simple calculator I have similar format I have used it so let's see how this starts I'm giving 5 seconds and starting it As you can see the values timer starts right and now music play tool yeah it will take little time sorry because the RAM is low in my system Moreover, uh, the similar uh, tkinter GUI developed, I have developed for a simple calculator app in my previous uh, video. So you can see it. So you have, will be having a basic idea of uh, tkinter uh, GUI development. So similar format I have used for uh, developing uh, 
uh, the countdown timer uh, GUI so you have, have a look on it so yeah it's opening so yeah it got opened so bottom you can see the file name yeah so it's now alarm is being played so this is how this um, simple timer works so this will be useful for who are beginning in GUI development and script development in python so they can try this so if you want to convert this into a dot exe file i have shared how to convert python script into dot exe so you can watch the tutorial yeah i have okay then the similar these files i will be sharing a link in the com um, in the youtube uh, video itself so you can download it and you can edit it and you can play with it so you start using python so yeah so this is the end of today's video so thanks for watching it have fun Happy coding.